Yo, what's up, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington. This is Deer Meat for Dinner, and you are watching Freezer Meat Friday. Check out all this digging. This is made by wild hogs. It's called rooting. It's where hogs, wild hogs, come in, dig it all up. They're looking for insects and roots and all kinds of little things to eat. This is a working cattle ranch. We have free-ranging, grass-fed beef on this ranch. Wild hogs can move in here root up an entire pasture, completely destroy the grazing, and turn it into a big mud hole virtually overnight. What do we need to do when we have a lot of hogs? Shoot them. Shoot them? <laughs> shoot, you gotta shoot them. So we're gonna head to camp. I'm gonna make sure my bow is all sighted in, and then tomorrow morning, we're gonna go for a little walk. See if we can't find one. <laughs> Property management is a huge part of what we do out here on the ranch. And we've got 3,000 acres that we take care of, and we have several of these corn feeders. In South Florida, we don't have like agriculture fields. And if the palmetto berries aren't ripe, and if the acorns aren't dropping, the deer, the hogs, and the turkeys really have to look high and low for food. Problem is, the hogs just suck up all the food. through the woods here got set up on him and he winded us so he sort of came around this way and it looked like he was trying to face off to us I'm gonna give him a little bit of time probably gonna go back and get Maverick see if Maverick can trail him up dude I'm telling you when you're on your feet stalking a wild hog it's intense 
especially when you know it's a big boar. Hey, drop a thumbs up if you want to do this because I'm telling you right now, few things are as, as cool as spotting stalking a big hog. That was a good one. Oh, there he is. Matt, you want to go? Come on, boy, let's go find a pig. Come on, I know you've been sleeping. Let's go, come on. Come on, big boy. There he is. You ready to go find one? Are you ready to go find one? Okay, you guys, so for those of you who don't know, this is my little black mouth cur named Maverick. Mav, say hey to everybody. Say yeah, say hey, like and subscribe. Be a part of the channel. Hang out with us. You ready? Mav, well, he's already smelling. Yeah, he's already, he's already smelling. Hey, what does every Maverick need? He needs a goose. He needs a goose. Why not hold, Mav? It's very important when you're training a dog. Maverick's a very slow, methodical trail dog. Let him do his thing. Don't stay too close to him. Just let him work. Where's he at? Man? Come here, man. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Yeah, you got him, son. That's a good boy. Yeah, that's a good boy. Yeah, you got him. You you just gotta start barking to let me know you found him. So Maverick obviously found the hog and was with him for a while. No, don't eat that. And found him and was with him for a while. Well, when I started calling him, he came running really fast like he was super happy. And that's always an indication that a trail dog's found what he's looking for. That's a good boy. Yeah. And uh, I mean, heck, it was looked like a perfect shot, maybe a touch high. I can't believe the hog went as far as he went. But um, big old stellar boar hog out here on the ranch, spot and stalk. We got Maverick and Goose. This is the first time Goose has ever been in the woods, and he's a little overwhelmed right now. He doesn't know exactly what to think. But Mav's like, this is what I love to do. So I'm gonna do a whole unlisted video showing you a new technique that I learned. I actually learned it on accident while at Home Depot. But we're gonna go back to the house, I'm gonna show you a new technique really cool tool we're gonna clean this hog and we're gonna make something awesome all right y'all well we took that big bar hog and turned him into a pile of meat most of it's on ice but these ribs they're gonna become something delicious freezer meat is all about celebrating meat and every single piece of meat that's ever been eaten had to be harvested cleaned processed and then well pretty much cooked now where to put my knife that's an interesting question. That one? Oh, there one, yeah. So, now what I'm gonna do is come right here in each one of these ribs, we're gonna cut each rib off just like that. I know you've probably never seen that done before like that, but there's a reason why I'm doing it. It's gonna be awesome. Boom. Now let me show you what we got. We got a bunch of individual ribs. If you see a little piece of a hair anywhere, pick it out. Nothing is uniform, nothing is perfect. Best seasoning in the world right there. Everglades seasoning, that's the original. And we're just gonna season these rascals up, just like that. Come in here with some black pepper. The black pepper is really gonna add some nice flavor to this. Let them dance around in here, let them do the uh, chimichanga you're ready to go next step follow me smokers hot how good does that look boom 
seasoned up. Ready to go. Now, while our ribs are in there smoking, they've been in there for about a half an hour, we're gonna start cooking some bacon. A whole lot of bacon. We wanna render this all down. About three pounds of bacon here. I'm not after the meat, I'm after the grease. But we'll eat the meat too. Y'all ever wonder what three pounds of bacon in one pan looks like? You don't have to wonder anymore. That's what it looks like. We just want to strain off all that oil. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Those are smoked ribs individually. Let's throw them all in here. We call this the love machine. You got smoked ribs, fried in bacon fat, baby. That's what I'm talking about. We're gonna finish them off and just let them just fall in love just like that. It's not gonna take long. We're, you know, we're just gonna let them sit in here, kind of swim around for a second. Not too long. Whoa. Hot diggity. Jake, what you thinking, man? <laughs> Everything you cook is good though. Now, they've been in there just a few minutes. Falling in love. Take them out. This is Jake and Henry. How old's Henry? Two. <laughs> he, he will only wear his hat backwards. The passy and the glasses make him like the cutest little boy I've ever seen. He waves for the camera. He waves. <laughs> oh. That's probably what Joe Burrow looked like when he was really young. <laughs> Most people think if you're going to kill a hole, you got to hang him and age him and this, that, and the other to make him tender. We literally cleaned that rascal, separated them ribs threw them on the smoker, finished them in baking grease, and put them on that plate right there. Now, let's see what y'all think. This thing doesn't really I think she just smelled the baking grease. Good? Henry's devouring it. And first time you've ever eaten wild boar, what did, what did you think of the flavor? It tastes like pork. Was it better or worse than what you expected? Better. Yeah. We're gonna end it with that, folks. Thanks for watching. This is Freezer Meat Friday, installment number six, where we celebrate meat. Take something out of the freezer, have fun with it, and uh, that's all I got to say about that. If you have a recipe that you would suggest us trying, drop it in the comments below. And uh, if we do, I mean, I don't know what we'll do, but if we do, we'll definitely give you a shout out. But that's all I've got for today. Thanks for watching. Take care, God bless, and we are Aria. Tell them. Gone.